Atalo fatu ile so fa pele o Yesu Kristo lo tanto wali i ma lo tanto faola sa mo i la fa fong anga ye ma u tofi o lo tanto watu nuu wa u ona le atua o tama o tina ye ai mai se o wo ma ai nga talofa 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 lava e fa ye ya u masui o Fresh Truth Ministries e avatu ai sa ma to sao ma le fa ata wa ina o le nga nga sa mo i toto no a te rone. Pe o na tui na mai ai le au tui le nei tau sanga mita mita i lau nga na maua lau fa asino manga talo falaba the Samoan language week. In the short clip, I'm going to share in Samoan and English some thoughts from scripture regarding this year's theme of be proud of your language and grounded in your identity. So a few thoughts. Numera mua mua le upu mita mita. Mita mita o na oa o le tangata Samoa. Mita mita ila unga ngana, lo ufa asino manga. Ua avea o se faama nianga lea, mo i tātou o tangata Samoa, ile lalo langi ātoa. Ai maanea foi upu o le tuspa ia, e faatatau ile mita mita o le tangata ile ātoa. Jeremia lo na mta apoe iba, fa ipoe lua suwa maltolo, ma le lua suwa malfa afamai. Awane i mita mita le tangata pote lo na poto, Awane i mita mita le tangata maalosi ilo na maalosi. Awane i mita mita fo ile mau oa i yana o loa. A o le mita mita, i nga mita mita ia o ia i le nei mea. I nga ua mafa o fau o ia ma ua i loa a u, o a u lava o yova. Fa meile tuspa ia, o le mita mita, ia mita mita o ia i nga uana i loa o yova o ia lava le atua. The Old Testament quote from Jeremiah 9, verse 23, 24, it states, Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord. The first word of our theme for our language week this year is to be proud. And here in Jeremiah, um, he uses another word for proud, and that's the word glory, that man should not glory or be proud in wisdom or might or his riches, but man who does glory should glory in this, that they know the Lord himself. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 29 to 31, that he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Paul writes that rather than boasting in the standards of this world or of this life, that our boasting should be in Christ. For me, upo Paulo le mua mua le kronito, fa upo amta upo mua mua, fa upo tolus fa maltasi, fa me ole mita mita, ia mita mita o ia ile ali. O le upo lo na lua o te fia au mai a mai le tato au tu ile ni tau sanga o la unga ngana. The second word that I want to look at in our Samoan language week this week is our language. Well, a tato au tu, fa maile au tu ile ni tau sanga, ia mita mita ila unga ngana. O le nganga fa aftai awa o lo o mautu lava le fia fia, e fa au nga matau tala tala ile nga ngana a si o tato watunu'u. I am 100% Samoan and a son of the Pacific. And I am glad to say that Samoan is my first language. I famita abita ile salamu is fuma le iba fe pues fuma le fa. I am a lie fo e ya te oi upu a lo mutu. Ma ma fo fo mo lo loto. Yo vai lo papa male na te tongi o lai nao. O le fa manato le tu spa ia ile fa o nga ino upu o tato mutu. E a vatu wai le di ina male fa aftai ile atua. Fa mele e beru suma tolu, fa e po suma lima o le nei, o ia tātou te avatu so o ai tau langa o le vi inga i le atua. O le fua leo tātou la ngutu, o lo faftai atu i lona suwafa. E ta aua la tātou nga ngana, a e sili ona mana tua, ma faa ta aua, le fua o tātou la ngutu, e avatu ai le vi inga i le atua. Number two in our theme is the word language. As we celebrate our Samoan language, the scriptures remind us in Psalms 19:14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart 
Be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The Bible also says in Hebrews 13, verse 15, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. So not only must we um, uh, boast or glory in the fact that we know the Lord, but number two, let us be reminded by scriptures of giving praise to God through the fruit of our lips and the words of our mouth. A third part that we see in our theme for this year's language week is to be grounded in your identity. My Samoan identity and ethnicity link me to my heritage, to my Pacific roots. But beyond that, and far more importantly, is my identity in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That identity, family, outweighs my identity in this life more than my Samoan heritage. Our identity in Christ is important because it is connected to my eternity. Paul says here, if anyone is in Christ, the person that has put their trust and faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has turned away from the old things, that old life of sin, and his new identity is living in obedience to Christ. This year, in acknowledging Samoan Language Week, week, we offer these three quick reminders. Number one, that we should boast or that we should glory or be proud in the fact that we know who God is. Two, let the fruit of our lips always be the praise unto our God. And number three, that our identity is grounded in who Christ is. As a Samoan, the fact that the saving gospel message arrived on our shores nearly 200 years ago was received by our forefathers, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for our sins. He rose again on the third day and is our high priest in heaven, and we look forward to his return as the greatest identity we have as a nation. Praise God. Amen.